after watching this video you are going to thank me for sure car or motor insurance life insurance medical insurance rent agreement and there are many more things on which we have to keep proper track otherwise if the dates are missed we we'll land up paying heavy penalty which we really don't want in case you forgot the birthday of your girlfriend or your wife or your anniversary date no one knows what's going to happen with you in this case excel is going to track all our days and dates and will keep on calculating it on regular basis the only thing what we will have to do open the sheet once a month and check the highlighted dates and days hi my name is vijay and you are watching office mom let's start the video without any delay this is a regular follow up sheet which i have created in advance there are few things like details of your policies policy dates renewal dates days days will be automatically changed whenever the renewal date will change premium amount grace period in days few policies like mediclaim gives a grace period of 15 or 30 days days pending this will be automatically calculated days pending with grace period days pending without saturday sunday and with grace period if the policy renewal date will be on saturday or sunday Two days will be subtracted from this. Over here, status. If days will be more than thirty, it will be showing done, and if the days will be less than thirty, it will be showing pending. We will change some days. Bike insurance. It's showing twenty days. I will change the date, and you will see when it's thirty days, it's done, and pending thing is removed. Also, the highlights are getting changed. Now we will be coming to new sheet. Days. We will insert the formula for days, and the formula will be plus or equal to text. Bracket open. We will select this comma double inverted comma d d d double inverted comma close bracket close and enter. We will drag this till end. We will highlight this. We will be going to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule equal to over here. We will put Sunday. We will leave it and we will do OK. Again, we will be coming to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule equal to and this time we are going to put Saturday. Okay, and our Saturdays are also highlighted. Premium amount. We will put a premium amount. we will drag this till end grace period in days we will put some grace period of mediclaim like 15 days over here we will put 10 days days pending we will be calculating this and the formula will be plus or equal to validity date minus today bracket open bracket close and we will do enter we will drag this till end days pending with grace period the formula will be plus or equal to we will select validity date plus grace period in days minus today bracket open bracket close and we will do enter we will drag this till end you will notice over here in car insurance grace period was 10 days so over here in days pending it's showing 50 days and with grace period it's showing 60 days now we will be coming to days pending without saturday and sunday and with grace period our formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open validity date is equal to 0 comma double inverted comma 0 double inverted comma close comma if bracket open day is equal to double inverted comma sat for saturday double inverted comma close comma validity date plus grace period days minus today bracket open bracket close minus 2 comma if bracket open validity date plus grace period days minus today bracket open bracket close minus 2 comma bracket open validity date plus grace period days minus today bracket open bracket close and we will close the bracket till it doesn't get black or white if got black we will do enter now we will drag this till end in life insurance pending days are 42 and over here it's showing 40 only because of our formula we will be coming to status and the formula for status will be plus or equal to if bracket open validity date is equal to 0 comma double inverted comma 0 double inverted comma close comma if bracket open days pending will be more than or equal to 30 comma double inverted comma done double inverted comma close comma if bracket open days pending will be less than or equal to 30 comma double inverted comma pending double inverted comma close bracket close and we will close the bracket till it doesn't get black or white enter so our status is done we will drag this till end now we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to and we will put pending over here we will leave it as red because we want our pending days to be highlighted in red okay and our pending is highlighted in red now we will be going to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule equal to this time we will put done we will select green color we will do okay so these things are highlighted now we will highlight our days 
we'll select all these days we will be going to condition formatting highlight cell rule greater than greater than 30 and we will select green color okay so the days which are more than 30 it's highlighted in green now again we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule less than we will do 30 and we want the days which will be less than 30 to be highlighted in red we will do okay again we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule between we will put 15 and 30 over here and we will select yellow color okay the days which are between 15 and 30 are highlighted in yellow color so in this way you can make regular follow-up sheet for yourself as well as your family members i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye